So in light of the Privileges Committee's remarks, can I ask you, Commissioner, that why are you not investigating this particular event? So the criteria we've stated before are um, where we will investigate, because we're not going to generally go back and investigate historic um, issues around the breaches unless there's evidence of a serious and flagrant breach. Um, and three points, it's proportionate and there's evidence that those involved knew or ought to have known what they were doing was an offence. Secondly, um, not investigating it would seriously undermine the legitimacy of the law. And thirdly, there's little ambiguity about the absence of a, of a reasonable defence. Now, we've been looking at this from a legal perspective. The Privileges Committee has a different remit. They're not fundamentally charged with investigating crimes and dealing with that, that issue. Um, I understand there will always around this sort of issue be widespread political and public debate. Much of that will be based on sort of ethics and perhaps politics. I have to follow the law and come to um, pragmatic decisions based on what is reasonable proportion to do at the time. Um, my team have been doing that. They've got a lot of experience on these cases. They've worked through them. I agree that the Privileges Committee comes from a different perspective. They have a different remit. But given what they have said, and in light of the remarks, are you saying categorically saying you will not investigate the events of the 13th of November, or are you prepared to get your officers to well, look into it? That's the decision we've made. But like with one of the other allegations, if, if something very new, very powerful that changed our thinking arises, then, of course, we might we would review it. But until, until and unless that happens, that's the decision that's been made by the team.